Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Woo. Hey, hey, hey. What you got to say? We're still in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Like my earrings. Um, my makeup is, is banging tonight because my son in love, Charlie, took my, my, um, my pictures for my book cover tonight. He came over and set up his equipment. He's a photographer, you know. And he hooked me, he, he hooked the sister up and had professional pictures for my book cover with my mother's picture in it. And I, so I put, took extra time to put my makeup on. Yep, yep, yep. So now I really, oh, I don't really feel like, I really, oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo, I came home and I cooked that grandma duty. I came home and I cooked for myself. And what else I do? I don't know, but I was a little on the tired side. I must admit, I don't really feel like running right now. I'm gonna run real slow. I'm gonna run slow. I'm gonna try today. Yeah. Slow down, Keita. Slow down. Slow down. Anybody out there tonight? Anybody out there? One person popped on. See, one person. Okay, Nikita said, you drive, you going too slow, mommy. I think I'm going too slow for myself, too. Yes. Uh. Y'all just see this shirt right here? Me and Mr. Cooper ran the Baltimore Marathon on his birthday, this, it was October 17th, now 20, was it 2018, something 2017, I don't know, but we ran it together, it was so much fun, oh, I miss Mr. Cooper, I miss all my friends and my family, oh my goodness, I'm tired, <laughs> help me Lord, I got stuff to do tonight. I still got to do my devotion. And I have to, my friend Nan, I told her I was going to do it tonight. She she gave me some material. And since I'm good at lettering, I'm going to let spell out on two sheets the, the words, um, Jesus is alive, he is risen. Because she's having a, a, sun, a Easter morning celebration she's giving away food and we're gonna have music and she's gonna put this down she can't let her so I'm like like making the bubble letters and all she'll have to do is paint it so I told her I'd do that tonight <sighs> oh, Lord help me <sighs> we gonna see we gonna see what we can do I always do the best that I can Oh my goodness, this is hard. This is hard. I need to get it in because Nikita got to get it in. Oh, and let me tell Doris. Doris, I wear um, extra socks, not because my shoes are not, they are running shoes, but on I'm used to running on a track and I just wear extra socks for more cushion for my joints because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to be double nickels, y'all. On Monday, I'm going to be 55, 55, 50, 55 años. Tendré, tendré 55 años. Oh, oh my goodness. Help me, Lord. Oh, this is, this is, this is not easy right now y'all but we gotta push ourselves sometimes so if i can do it y'all can do it y'all push yourself too that's what i'm trying to be an example that we could do all things through christ who strengthens us yes we can yes we can hallelujah i feel better just saying that glory to god there's power in the word there's power power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb 
There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Help me, Holy Spirit. I don't know what's wrong with them, Nikita. Look at my pretty dog. She's such a pretty dog. Oh, y'all. Yeah. There's... I see the Big Dipper. Oh, Lord. God, you're not showing me anybody to pray for. Anybody out there? Thank you, Lord. Be a good God. I feel a little better. My leg didn't want to go at first. But they're, they're um, falling in line there. Mind over matter, mind over body. That's it, man. That's it. It's our minds. It's the battlefield of the mind. Definitely. <sighs> this is a pretty good pace, kid. Thank you. I'm gonna turn around up here. Oh, Satan, you're a liar. Oh, who's that? Hey, Stephen Ree. How you doing? Thanks for joining me. I was lonely. I was getting lonely by myself. There wasn't nobody to talk to. <laughs> God, I thank you for Stephen Ree. I thank you for his life, Father. I ask that you touch him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet, Father. Anything not like you, I ask that you remove it, Father. I ask that you bring comfort if he needs comfort, even peace if he needs peace, Father. If he needs a financial blessing, God, I ask you to make a way out of no way like you always do, Father. Provide every one of his needs, Father. Spiritual in his soul, Father, if he has any hurt in his soul that he can't get over, God, I ask that you free him from it right now in the name of Jesus. Heal his heart, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and just pour your spirit on him. Pour out your love on him. Pour out your, your spirit, Father, on him right now. Let him feel your loving arms around him in the name of Jesus. Let him know that you never will leave him nor forsake him, that you love him. What a wonderful, great love. <laughs> and that you he is designed especially for your, your purpose, Father. And let him walk in his purpose, Father. Speak to him, lead him, order his steps in your word, Father. And use him in a mighty way. And let him feel content, Father, with his life, Father. Let him experience your peace 
and your joy, Father, that surpasses all understanding, Father. Anything going on in this body unlike you, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you, Stephen, will prosper, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you in the name of Jesus. This is my prayer for you, my brother. I thank God for your life. I thank God for what you have meant in my life. You have touched my life. And I thank God for you. And everything going to be all right. You hear me? I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Just believe. Trust God with your life. Just trust him with your life. He got you. He got you. We don't have to do it ourselves. We don't have to run things. If we ask, Holy Spirit, have your way in my life today, God, my thoughts, my words, and my actions, he will do it. And he will make things easier for you. He'll make things easier for you because that's what he does for me. And he doesn't love me any more than he loves you. He loves all his children. He loves us all. He loves us all. And he's just there waiting waiting for us to just surrender to him totally that's when I started experiencing great freedom when I surrendered to his will for my life I tried to do it my way for 53 years man and I finally said God I can't do this no more you you take charge you help me lead me guide me don't let me do nothing you don't want me to do don't let me I know we're gonna get run over by the truck Whoa, ho, 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 okay, don't let me, I just pray that every day, like, let your will be done in my life, whatever his will is for my life, that's what I want, because he has shown me that he is trustworthy, he wants us to be happy, he wants us to have the desires of our heart, but we just have to trust him with our lives, that's what I did, I just, okay, well, I just threw my hands up, I said, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, whatever, Lord, I know I'm messing up, just, just help me, and he started helping me, and showing me me, and let me see what the, the behavior that I was having, it was causing people to treat me the way they were treated. I had to accept responsibility for my life. I was having a big pity party. Nobody loved me. <laughs> Everybody take advantage of me and stuff. But I was, I was doing what he didn't tell me to do. I was doing so much. And now I just do what he tells me to do. And, and it's always appreciated. What I do now for people, it's appreciated because it's what God tells me to do. I only listen to him now. And it's so freeing, man. I don't worry about people's opinion anymore. I don't worry about what people think of me. I don't worry if somebody gets mad at me. I don't care. As long as I please God, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And I'm going to be loving and kind to people, you know, and I try to help them if I can. But I don't do something just because somebody wants me to. I do what if God tells me to do it, then I'll do it. I know his voice. He speaks to me in so many different ways. I do miss her. I do. The devil slips in there sometimes and he tricks me. <laughs> I'll be thinking it's God. It's the devil. It's true. <laughs> it's true. But God always brings me right back. I don't go far. He bring me right back. He bring me right back. Yeah, he does. But I just want y'all to know that you can trust God with your life. You don't have to try to fix everything yourself. You don't have to. He'll do it for you. If you just trust him and surrender everything to him. Just surrender everything to him. And he will take over and lead you. And you'll just be living in the victory, walking in the victory every day like I do now. It's amazing. This is a woman that used to be depressed for weeks. I used to be suicidal. I want to kill myself. And, oh, it's terrible on all kinds of medicine. Now I don't take any medicine. I'm not on any medicine. I used to take a lot of medicine. A lot of medicine for bipolar 1. And God said, that medicine is killing you. And he helped me, showed me how to, well, help me get off of it. Because if you just stop taking drugs, all of a sudden, it will make you flip out. <laughs> and I ended up going into the mental hospital a couple times. Because <laughs> I stopped taking my medicine abruptly. 
So he told me how to do it this time. He told me how to do it. And he told me what to eat and what to do to combat all of the symptoms that I had. All of the symptoms that I have. Like I say, my, my psychiatrist, Dr. Tubner Rose, my ex, he's retired now. And I don't need him anymore because I don't need a psychiatrist anymore because I don't take medicine. That's what psychiatrists, they prescribe medicine. I have a therapist now. And she's a, she's a licensed therapist. And she's also a minister and a believer. And one day, girlfriend prayed for me. Oh, Lord. Oh, you talk about somebody happy? She said, okay, we need, we, we, we need to get away from the books right now. <laughs> we need the Holy Spirit up in here, girl. She prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. They had me on their mind. They took the time and prayed for me. Thank you, Kendra. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad, glad they prayed for me. My mother prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time and prayed for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. My sister prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time and prayed for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. My pastor prayed for me. Had me on his mind. He took the time and prayed for me. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed for me. Jesus prayed for us. He had us on his mind. He took the time and prayed for us. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed. I'm so glad he prayed for us. Hallelujah. It says it in the Bible. Pray for us. Come on. In the last prayer that he prayed, forgive them, Father. And today, he said that, commemorates his death today, Good Friday. He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. That's love. Somebody killing you. And you ask God to forgive them. You have mercy for them. So that's why we got to forgive others, y'all. It's nothing that we can't forgive people for. We have to forgive if we want God to forgive us. And what, what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? We, we can't just think about the here and now. This life is fleeting. Our lives are short. But our spirits never die. So that's what we have to think about. That's the big thing we got to think about. Where are our spirits going to be? I don't want to be separated from God. That's why I chose Jesus as my Savior. That's why I chose him as my Savior. That's what I believe. We all have different beliefs, and that's okay. That's okay. But you make sure you believe whatever you believe. You believe it with all your heart. And you walk the walk. And I just talk the talk. <laughs> yes. But if you happen, if you decide you want to give my Jesus a try, Romans 10 and 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's as simple as that. Hallelujah. And if you have problem believing, all you got to do is say, Help me to believe. Help my disbelief, Father. Help my disbelief. I want to believe in somebody that raised the dead, somebody that healed the sick, somebody that, that loved when he was hated. I want to believe in somebody compassionate that loved children, that, that healed a woman with an issue of blood who was suffering for so many years. The, the one that fed 5,000 with, with loaves of bread with very little, just a miracle worker. The, the one that walked on water. 
I want to believe in him. <laughs> yes, I do. So if you have problems believing, say, help me to believe. Show me your real in my life, Jesus. Show me your real. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Don't forget about the Holy Spirit because I just prayed to God and Jesus for years. I didn't used to pray the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is our helper. As he's the one that makes life easier for us. He is definitely a comforter and a helper. He orchestrates your life for you. He will do it if you ask him. You got to ask him. No, I get up every morning. Holy Spirit, have your way. Guide my thoughts, my words, and my actions. And I trust him to do that. And he he just blows my mind every day. I be having miracles. They in my book. I be having miracles every day, y'all. Just miracles. <laughs> you can't make some of the stuff up <laughs> that happens to me. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Because I believe. I believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. And I did. That was my prayer for a long time. Help my disbelief take all fear, doubt, and disbelief away. I didn't always believe the way I do now. I had to pray. I had to pray. So just know that when you pray, he's listening. King Jesus is listening when you pray. <laughs> King Jesus is listening when you pray. If I hold my head, what's that? How did that song go? Oh, I wish I could sing that song. King Jesus is a listening, listening, listening. King Jesus is a listening when you pray. If I hold my peace, I know he's gonna come for me one day. King Jesus is a listening when we pray. And I Dang, I wish I knew that song. <laughs> I can't think of it right now. I'm sorry. Kendra, God, I ask that you bless Kendra right now. Touch her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Father. Anything not like you in her body, God, I ask that you remove it, Father. I ask that you comfort her, Father, as you continue to build her up and strengthen her with each passing moment, Father. I ask that you send your minister and angels to her side right now and help her with whatever she's going through, Father. In the name of Jesus, bless her and Stephen's family, Father, all of their loved ones and everybody else that tunes in tonight. Bless not only them, Father, but their loved ones. Bless their loved ones, Father. Keep them safe. Heal the sick, Father. In the name of Jesus, provide every one of our needs. According to your riches and glory. And guess what, y'all? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything belongs to him. And he will is nothing he will withhold from them that walk upright. And all you got to do is try. You ain't got to be perfect. Because we can't be perfect. Jesus was the only perfect one. But we can do our best. And God knows. He, he sees the heart. When you're trying, he sees. Don't worry about what other people say. Don't worry about what people say about you. You just focus on God and what he thinks. And you do what's right in your heart, in his eyes, what you think he wants. And you can find that in the Bible. <laughs> and, and and Danny Gokey put it quite well in his, his latest song, one of his latest songs. Love God and love people. That's what it boils down to. That's based on on the, the scriptures. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And the second commandment is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's it. Love God and love people. <laughs> love people as yourself. So if you don't, if you wouldn't want somebody sleeping with your husband, don't sleep with theirs. If you wouldn't want somebody cussing you out, don't cuss them out. If you wouldn't want somebody just being rude to you, don't be rude to them. What you doing, Keita? Just treat others like you want to be treated. That's what we got to do, y'all. It's real simple. Just And you know, we got to spend more time thinking, being quiet, getting somewhere by ourselves and thinking. That's when God talks to you. You need quiet. No television, no music. Sometimes you just need quiet so you can hear him. I didn't hear him until I got by myself. He had to take everybody out of my life, all my media family. He had to clean house. He had to alienate me from everybody because I got a hard head. Oh, I'm hard headed. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, Lord, I was hard headed. Oh, I was a hard headed woman. Mm, mm, mm. But he got me by myself, and now I know his voice. Now I know his voice. Somebody gave me a heart. It might be somebody that know me. You know how hard headed I am. <laughs> was was 
But yeah, he, he, he's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Ella Mae Brown. How you doing, girl? God, I thank you for Ella. God, I ask you to bless Ella from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Father. I thank you. Word says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Thank you for giving Ella the desires of her heart, because she know what I'm about. She know what I'm about. She know I'm on here talking about you, Father. <laughs> And I thank you for what you're going to do in her life this evening, Father, and tomorrow, Father, and everybody on this line, Father, everybody that thought it not robbery to, to rejoice with me with you and delight ourselves in you, talking about your goodness on Good Friday. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for health, strength. Thank you for letting us still be in the land of the living. Thank you for letting us still have eyesight and still be able to hear and still be able to walk and talk. Hallelujah. Some people can't talk right now, y'all. Some people are able to have a stroke and they can't talk. We got to think about what we got to be thankful for because there's always somebody less fortunate than you. It's always somebody worse off than you. So we got to count out blessings, even if we're in pain. Even if I'm in pain, I'm still praising God. I'm laying there, I'm pain, I'm thanking Him. And I'm speaking, thank you for healing my body. <laughs> we speak those things that are not as if they are, and they will come to pass. I'm telling you what I know, y'all. I've been trying this stuff. I've been doing this. this is, I'm not on here, you know, like pretending, y'all. This is some real stuff. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. I'm just trying to help. I'm not. I don't know. I have all the answers, but what I do talk about, I'm talking about what I know, and I'm asking the Holy Spirit every day. I don't get on here and tell the Holy Spirit tell me to. I don't get on here if my mind is not right, if my spirit's not right. I don't get on here. That's why I. I that's why I send most of the time. I send people my videos because. Never know what time I'm gonna be on here. I gotta get myself together. I gotta make sure I'm right. I'm gotta make sure I'm right. Gotta have my mind right. Gotta have my body right. Have my spirit right. Yep, yep, yep. I take what he tell me to do very seriously. I don't play with him. <laughs> I don't play with God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord well I love y'all and I thank you for being here with me and I pray y'all have a beautiful God blessed night sleep peacefully tonight you're going to sleep good tonight you have a good dream tonight just believe it go to sleep with a smile on your face <laughs> thank God for another day it's where there's life there's hope he ain't finished with us yet was it hard for me to let meats go no, because I was having so much pain in my body and he's like, get rid of, he told me, he said, get rid of everything that causes inflammation. And I Googled what causes inflammation, tomatoes, meat, potatoes, and I used to love some French fries. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was my favorite food. I never thought I could ever give up French fries. <laughs> McDonald's fries at that. <laughs> and sugar, um... I just use honey now. And it's like once I surrendered to him, when, when I heard him tell me that and I started doing it, he made it easy. He made, I love my diet. He changed my appetite. He changed it because I hated honey. Oh, I absolutely thought honey was just disgusting. I can't get enough honey now. I put honey in my turmeric tea. I put honey in my, um, yeah, yeah, fried potatoes with onions, that's some good stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do the onions now, and I'll do sweet potatoes occasionally, but white potatoes, mm -mm, and I don't do white rice, I do brown rice. I used to hate brown rice. Once I submitted, he changed my total, he just changed my taste buds. He changed everything. I didn't like mangoes before. Now, I eat mangoes, and mangoes and everything that the turmeric that is good for inflammation and the um um and I put honey and lemon in it I, every morning that's what I do to and I soak in a hot tub because I he's healing me from arthritis but he hasn't yet all the way so this is what I do for my own healing I drink the turmeric tea in the morning and I soak in a hot tub I used to do the sauna but I don't have a sauna anymore it's in Baltimore but Soon the Arizona is going to be like a sauna, so I'm going to be good to go. I just come out here and sit in the sun and, and stretch. I did that the other day. It was pretty hot to hear the other day. But, um, yeah, if you trust God and deliver him, and it'll make you lose weight. It will make you lose weight. I was 100 when I first started 
my diet changed. I was 167 pounds and now I'm 140. And I've been just weight for like a year. Yeah. And y'all, oh my God, you talk about being regular. It's amazing. I am just so free. I'm so, that's why I used to be so irritable. I didn't go to the bathroom well at all. <laughs> at all you know you know when people say she full up it really will make you act different when you're not regular it'll make you irritable it really does it really does why <laughs> i will ella and i'm gonna email you something else too i'm gonna i want to send me and mess message me your email address i want to send you something i want to send you something to get you started all of, but I put everything in my book. I put my whole diet in my book. I put how to do how to do an Airbnb, how to run a how how to start and and run an Airbnb. I put everything that that I'm that I'm walking in victory in. I put in my book everything that I do that God has helped me to do. I, I put it in my book to help others. The diet, the exercise, the, everything. Everything, the scriptures that help me, the prayers. I put my prayer book at the end of the book, the exact prayer that I pray. Um, my editor wouldn't let, my, my writing coach wouldn't let me put it in. I had taken pictures of it. It was handwritten because I want everybody to know that you don't have to type, you know, have to have a computer. All you need is a piece of paper and something to write on, write with. And write down your prayers and write down your goals and write down when they're going to come, when you want them to come true, and they will come true. Dates. Write it down. Now, book of two says, write it. Yes, that's the only thing I eat, Ella, is, is salmon. And I eat salmon because it's good for inflammation. I used to love self-shellfish. And it's like, I mean, that's all I ate when I went to restaurants. I never ordered chicken or anything other than shellfish when I went to restaurants. I would lobster tail was my favorite and shrimp. And I love I love used to love the 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 um, what are those black things um in the shell. What do you call those? What do you call them? Mussels. I used to love mussels and scallops. I used to love all of that. But I enjoy the salmon. I, I be hooking up. I be making curry salmon, and I make up honey barbecue salmon. Not honey barbecue. Honey, honey, and like teriyaki or something like that. I just hook it up. I just make it in different kind of ways. But, but he told me to stop doing the shellfish. He let. He said. Because I used to have high cholesterol and shellfish gives you, I ate too much of it. I ate too much of it. So anything I abused in my life, I just don't do anymore. And I did too much. What's you barking at? What you barking at? So I just eat salmon. That's what I eat. Because it's very good for inflammation. This is how I'm able to run every day. Because even though I have arthritis, this is how I'm able to keep active. Because I do these things. I don't eat sugar anymore. And that really does cause inflammation. It causes you. If you got pain in your body, sugar ain't gonna help. Dairy is not gonna help. And they have, they have. So, um, you're welcome. You got me. You really got me talking, answering me questions. <laughs> I'm really running my mouth. <laughs> I better get off here so I can go do my devotion. <laughs> oh Lord, thank you for joining me, though. I love you. Thank you for blessing, Allah. You keep pain in your body, yeah. Let me, let me, let me do that. Message me, message me your, Isis, I want you to message me your email address too. Y'all both message me your email address. I'm going to send you something. I want you to try, okay, to kickstart you, to jumpstart you. It'll help you, okay? It's a surprise. I love y'all. God bless my Isis in the name of Jesus. Hush up, Keita. Hush up. Touch your father from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Anything not like you, Father, remove it, Father. And bless her. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs>